Hi, boys and girls. Professor Wisebottom, PhD, B-I-B-L-E, here with you again today. As you can see, I'm still in Australia because I love learning about the wombat so much that I decided to stay a little longer. But it's now time for us to start today's adventure. We have to climb onto a plane to get to our new destination. So come on, hop on, and let's go. Here we are. Can you guess where we are for today's adventure? Well done, you're right. We're back in Africa. I found someone very interesting I'd like you to meet. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Clue number one. My family is made up of eight species. Four species live in Africa and four live in Asia. Clue number two. I am about the size of a small cat. Clue number three. I release a very bad smelling acid like the spray of a skunk to chase away animals that want to eat me. Ew! Clue number four. My tongue is extremely long and sticky. Growing from deep inside my chest, I can extend it to over 40 centimeters, which is longer than my own body. Clue number five. I have no teeth. The insects I eat are broken up by stones and keratin spines inside my stomach. Wow, keratin is a big word. Keratin is the same stuff that makes up your fingernails. Clue number six. My body is covered with scales made of keratin and my scales make up nearly 20% of my body weight. What? No teeth and spines in my stomach? Is that possible? I think you're going to need some more clues. Ready? Here we go. Clue number seven. When I'm in danger and my smell doesn't chase away my enemies, I can roll myself into a ball that even tigers, lions and leopards can't break. Clue number eight. My favorite foods are ants and termites. Yummy! Okay, here's your last clue. I am very shy, and I mostly <laughs> come out at night, so that makes me nocturnal. So, boys and girls, do you have any idea of who we are talking about? Wait, what was that? I heard someone shout the right name. Yes, you're right. Well done. I am a pangolin. Well done, everyone. Those were some very strange clues. I think most grown-ups would struggle to guess who I am. Are you ready for some more weird and wonderful facts about me? You are? Great. Listen to these. I have a very strong tail. And I use my tail to balance myself when I'm digging into an ant or termite nest. Our babies are called tango pups. And we carry them on our tails till they are able to move around by themselves. Aren't they cute? Aww. Unfortunately, I'm very sought after in the wildlife black market. I'm hunted for my meat and my scales are used as medicine for many sicknesses. I can eat up to 70 million insects in a year by myself. Wow! I am more closely related to bears, dogs and cats than the armadillos and anteaters. Really, it's true. I have very poor hearing and eyesight, so I have to rely heavily on my sense of smell to hunt for my food. Finally, my name in Latin means ghost, 
people and the world, which may be because I prefer to be solitary and because I come out at night. Wow! Wasn't that amazing, boys and girls? I still can't believe they have spines in their tummies. But there is something also very sad about the pangolin. Their very good defense against other animals unfortunately makes them a very easy target for man to catch. I'd like to introduce you to Lynn. Hi boys and girls! Lynn is a pangolin that is hoping to make people aware of the danger they're in. That they are going to be extinct soon if we don't do something. That's right professor! Boys and girls, will you help me? We need to let people know that we are also God's creation and that humans were meant to look after us, not kill us. So with the help of the professor, I've made a short movie to help people realize this. Have a look. My name is Lynn and I want to star in a movie. Why is that artichoke talking? I'm a pangolin, which basically means my tongue is longer than my body. And I'm pretty much for a bowling ball. <laughs> but the pangolin piece de resistance? We're the only mammals with scales. Pretty neat, huh? Poachers think so too. You see, people use us for traditional medicine and leather boots. The situation is critical, averaging about 100,000 goodbyes a year. I have to do something. I have to star in a movie. If I become famous, pangolins will become famous. People will notice us and finally care about us. So guys, help my species become known. In Hollywood, let me star in a movie, please! I hope you enjoyed that and remember I'm very small and you are very big so please look after me so there you go boys and girls another one of God's amazing creations let's remember to look after them and all the other amazing animals God created that's all for this week I'm off to look for another adventure see you soon Bye for now.